and welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim, and tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about new daily persistent headache. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on cluster headaches, and during that video, I also briefly touched upon migraines. The thing that sets NDPH apart from those types of headaches is the fact that it is truly daily. It doesn't just last for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. We're talking about a headache that lasts for years on end. So how bad are these headaches? Well, according to Dr. Herbert G. Markley, who's the director of the New England Regional Headache Center in Massachusetts, NDPH is, quote, possibly the most refractory of all headache syndromes. Refractory meaning stubborn or unmanageable, which is a very apt description for NDPH. Now, the sudden onset is what really sets us apart. People who have no prior history of headache problems suddenly wake up one day with a headache that just will not quit. In fact, if you meet anybody who has NDPH, they will most likely not only be able to tell you the day that their symptoms started, but the hour. It's that painful, it's that sudden, and it's that life-changing of an event. So, okay, how painful are we talking about here? Well, the new normal for most people with NDPH is a constant tension headache. And the pain of that tension headache can ratchet up and down like a pain seesaw, approaching migraine-like intensity. And again, this is going on for years and years at a time. One of my regular viewers, Jason, said that in addition to the pressure and the pain he feels, he also has the, the fun symptom of feeling like he has a very bad sunburn underneath his skin, in between the outermost layer of skin and the skull. Imagine how much fun that is on top of the rest of it. So when you consider all of that and then throw in the fact that NDPH is extremely resistant to most kinds of treatment, whether it's pharmacological therapy or cognitive therapy, and you have the recipe for a significantly decreased quality of life. Now, Jason did mention to me that he had recently started Botox injections, and that, strangely enough, it did offer a little bit of relief from the feeling of that horrible pressure. So, Jason, I hope that's still working out for you. Please drop me a line whenever you get a chance and let me know how it's going. And that goes for the rest of you watching this, too. If you would like to write to me just to say hi or because you have a topic you would like to see me cover, go ahead. Ken at Don'tPunishPain.com. That's also my website. And you can also follow me over on Twitter at Don'tPunishPain. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, but we'll be back. Until then, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.